Welcome, this is the AP Physics Workbook Solution. Here I'm covering 1.E, which is the relative velocity. Blake and Carlos are playing on a train while Angela watches. While the train passes, Angelica is traveling at 5 meters per second to the east. At the same time, Blake is running 2 meters per second east relative to the train towards Carlos, who is taking a break. Um, remember, all speeds given for Blake are relative to the train. Okay, so here you're going to identify for part A, you're going to identify and label a direction to be positive in the sketch and label uh, the positive direction. So in this case, I am going to label um, positive as going to the right. Right? And anything going up is also positive. So here I'm going to sketch the motion based on Angelica's measurement of Blake's motion. So here you would see that here it says that Blake is uh, Angelica's measuring Blake's motion. Right? Uh, Angelica is traveling at five meters per second to the east. All right. So that is that five meters per second here. All right. This is the five meters per second. Here's the other five meters per second, right? So this is how it should look like. Okay. Now you want to sketch Carlos's motion. Now again, Carlos's motion is um, less than that. Okay, because he's going. Um, Okay, so it's smaller. Carlos's motion is actually um, smaller. Okay, why is Carlos's motion uh, smaller? Okay, because <clears throat> Carlos here, um, you're, you're going to see when we um, look at the um, equation. Okay, so let me come back to this. Let me show you this one. Okay. All right, so using the diagram part A to determine Blake's speed relative to Angelica's, okay? So according to Angelica, she's looking at Blake's and Carlos's on the train. Blake's speed relative to Angelica is five meters. Why? Because Blake was going to east plus the train, which was going at five east, so in total, he had five going east. Good. That's why his was long. But if you look at Carlos's, right? Okay. Carlos uh, is stationary, right? That's why he is actually smaller. Okay. So Manica's Blake motion. So this was a train. So 5 plus 2 plus 5 plus 2, 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 right? So this is, this was him running with the train. So this is his 5 meters per second, 5 meters per second. In total, 7 meters per second, right? 7 meters per second. Because again, these is a combination, right? And so on and so on. Here, we know that Carlos's was 0 because he was stationary plus the train, right? 0 0.5, 0 0.5, okay? 0 plus 5. So here, his total was 5 meters per second, no, 5 meters per second, right? That's why it's smaller. Okay, you have to make sure you add the speed of the train as well. Okay, now Blake now turns and runs east. Okay, now uh, no, runs west. So, how should it look like? So, Blake now is going what to east. Um, but the train is still going, sorry, f to west. And, but the train is still going five east. So again, we label that. So do you see how it's going to west? So mathematically, it should look like this. It becomes minus two plus five. That should be equal to three. The minus occurs because he's going east. Okay. Right, so I wrote it here. According to Angelica, she's looking at the system of the Blake Carlos train. Blake's speed is relative to Angelica, which is uh, three meters per second. Why east? 
why is it 3 meters per second east? Because negative 2 east is what is actually happening because that's what the negative 2 is. Um, coming occur from him running to the left. Plus 5 is the train going forward. And in total, that becomes 3 positive. That's why I wrote 3 east. Okay. Because again, going west is negative. So if it's a positive 3, I said going east. Okay. Because velocity depends on direction. All right. So here are the cases. Okay. You're going to circle the correct part of each student's argument. So here, the first scenario. Uh, in both cases shown below, Blake is running on the train as he travels. In which case is Blake's speed relative to the ground the greatest? Is he running 20 meters per second west and, um, and the train is going 10 east? So mathematically, we could do that if we want really quick. Mm, plus 10. No. Nope. This is negative 10 yep this is 10 plus 10 which is equal to 20 good all right so um, blake says i am running the fastest in case a therefore i will appear to be moving fastest relative to the ground who cares what the train is doing uh i'm running the fastest in case a that is true. That is true. Look, he is running 20 meters per second, and he is running, in his point of view, at 10 meters per second. So, yeah, that is actually true, right? So, that's true. Who cares what the train is doing? Yeah, you should care about what the train is doing, okay? But the only thing that is correct about his statement is that he is running fastest, okay? Um, Carlos says, no, the train does matter since 20 plus 10 um, is greater than 10 plus 10. You are right that the case A is where Blake is the fastest. That is wrong. We did the math here, It right? We did the math here. It was negative 20. So this math is wrong. This is wrong. So the only thing that he said is correct is the train does matter, right? The train does matter. The speed of the train does matter. Okay, now Angelica says this, um, Blake is running fastest relative to the ground in case B, okay, because Blake's velocity and the train's velocity are in the same direction and they add up to 20 meters east. That is correct. We actually did the math here. Good. But in case A, Blake's velocity is in the opposite direction of the train, which is adds up to 10 west. That is correct. That's why we have the negative here. Okay, again, if you would like to understand how I'm getting the signs, um, I am associating negative as, we as uh, west and positive as east. Okay, that's how I'm distinguishing them. So that is what Angelica said was true. Blake is running fastest uh, relative to the ground Okay, uh, which is not correct, but her statement is true about the adding and of the subtraction part. Okay, it depends on where your reference frame is. From the point of view, in short, let me collapse this into like a very simple idea. If you are in the point of view of Blake, that is what I mean by reference frame. From the point of view of Blake, you are running fastest in part A because you are running 20 miles per hour. Okay. Carlos is correct in the statement of the train does affect the total system. Okay. So you take consideration the entire system of the train, the runner, and everything together. Right. The fastest one, right, the fastest traveling is um, uh, case B, which is... Um, Blake, all right? So let me show you something. All right, so this is what I want you to think about. Have you seen these horizontal escalators? All right, now, do you see this guy? He's walking with the escalator, right? Imagine that as uh, Blake's running, right? Let's say Blake is running, okay? The escalator 
is running he's running with the escalator he's going to move faster right because you're adding the speed because you're going the same direction you're adding the speed okay but here let's say he's running um up but the escalator is going the opposite way do you see how one of them is a subtraction so you, he's going to be less that what it means here right because you see how he's going in the opposite direction that's what i'm referring to as when you're looking at relative velocity velocity has a direction component to it and if you look at the entire system okay um, things can change all right so there you go